we went through a process um, and and Steve's expert, we'd already knew what Bradley thought. Um, we, we, I mean, I was at the contest, I saw what happened. And, and if, if Steve had disqualified Shiraz straight away, that's fine. Uh, I've got no problem with that at all. I thought at one point he was going to do that. And I've already, I've already stressed this. But he had a number of options and that wasn't the option he took. And the option he took was within the rules. Um, you know, you can't just suddenly go back and say, well, although it's in the rules, we don't agree with that rule. Mm. If you don't agree with that rule, get rid of the rule at the beginning of the whole process or change it as you go along. But that rule was in place. And, um, you know, I, I accept all the criticism. Um, as I say, I thought he was going to disqualify him. And if he had, I had no problem with that at all. Um, but once he didn't at the beginning and I suddenly realised what he was doing, that's within the rules. There's nothing you can do about that. And his explanation was in the rules. He was satisfied that Bradley was in a fit condition to continue. He gave him a great deal of opportunity um, or time to recover, and he let the fight continue. Um, you know, I also was advised that on the, even on the TV, they weren't criticising it too much, and uh, I think somebody said they should be able to continue as well. So, I mean, you know, we've all got different opinions, um, and I fully respect people's opinions, but that's the decision that was made. You know, unless you want to invite people in and see what, what you do at these hearings, I don't know any other organisation would do that. I don't know any other organisation that let their referees talk to the TVs, etc. Football don't, rugby don't. Um, so, you know, we're no different from any other organisation. And we explain what happened. If you don't like it, I fully understand and respect it. But nobody broke the rules. Um, or, uh, people abided by the rules. And if they abide by the rules, that's fair enough. Mm. Can, can I ask you what um, I, I believe Bradley submitted an appeal or, or for, for a rematch um, I, I don't know the full ins and outs but is, is there anything that you can kind of um, update us on that what's happening with that is there going to be a, a rematch ordered <coughs> we, we can't order the rematch it's a WBC sanctioned contest if it was a British championship or an eliminator then yeah we can but it was a WBC, WBO championship I'm sorry WBO championships. So, but what we did do is we wrote to the WBO and said we would have, we would have no uh, difficulty or no objection to a rematch being made. Um, now, they haven't actually put anything out to make a rematch. I do know, um, well, I've been advised that the promoter has offered him a rematch. That's up to Bradley to take and to negotiate. It's not for me to negotiate for him. He was boxing very, very well. Um, and I can't see why he couldn't box very, very well again. But the, ultimately, that choice is his. So, so I, I believe he's trying to, he would like it made as a no contest. Um, I could be wrong in that, but is, is that... <laughs> we've, we've, already, we've already advised that. This, that won't happen. In the future, if, we change, if the rules are changed, then that be something you could consider. But that won't happen. The referee abided by the options he was given there's not, there's not going to be made a no contest. It's unfortunate for Bradley, but it's not going to be made a no contest. In fact, the way Bradley was boxing, um, that's done him a lot of good within the sport. And uh, and I think if he can carry on with that, he'll do well. 